Welcome back, everybody. Joining me now are Emmy award-winning comedians who star in the new movie, Here Today. Excuse me, are you by any chance looking for me? I'm Charlie Burns. I'm Emma Page. Emma, pleasure, thank mm, you. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. Not a problem, I'm glad you're here. <clears throat> and thank you for bidding on me in the auction. Truth? Sure. I don't know who the hell you are. My ex bid on you. Uh, how did this? He was doing a scene from one of your plays in his acting class, and he really wanted to meet you, so he bid. How much? $22. $2,200? That's fantastic. I... $2,200, my ass. $22. $22 was the winning bid? Mm, it started at 20 and then it went up in 50 cent increments. Please welcome back to A Late Show, Billy Crystal and Tiffany Haddish. Hey, Billy. Hi. Hey, Tiffany. <laughs> Hi, hey. great to see you. Nice to have you here. You're two two of my favorite guests. This is this is like a vacation because I know you, the two of you really know how to talk. I want to I want to ask you before I ask you about the movie. I want to ask you about that scene for just a second, Billy. When's the last time somebody didn't know who you were? Um, ooh, the other day at the pharmacy, I went to pick up a prescription, and uh, she looked at me and she said, "Name." And I went, oh, it's a rough one. Yeah, can I see your license to make sure it's you? Yeah, and, we, and it was for like Mucinex. I mean, you know, it was like, oh. But you know, that scene that you just saw, you know, was the impetus for the movie and it actually started on your stage. Wow. That story. Did, uh, Alan Zweibel, who you know, who's a brilliant sure. writer, original SNL writer, was on The Letterman Show. And he was telling Dave this, this, Really funny story about he, this charity auction that he was bid on. And he goes to meet the stranger, which I'm sure you've done them. It's, it's awkward, but interesting. Mm -hmm. And she only bid $22. And then she has a, a toxic reaction to the seafood salad she was having. So she swells up. He has to call an ambulance. And then they go to the hospital. She has no insurance. So this charity luncheon cost him 2300 bucks. So and that's the story he tells Dave. And it was very funny. So I'm at home watching. Of course, he's my friend. And I emailed him right away. I don't know what this is, but this is a hilarious way for two characters to meet. Where do they go from here? If you're interested, let's start talking tomorrow. And we did. That was the beginning. It's a, sort of the opening of the film and our relationship. And um, here we are now. So, T Tiffany, how, did, how do you get involved in this? When, when Billy Crystal pitches you a movie idea, like, do you listen to the whole thing or just go, Billy, yes, of course. Well, what happened was his people contacted my people. Oh, I see. And then they gave me a script, and I read the script. And I was like, Billy Crystal? OK, yes. And they're like, he wants to meet with you. And I was like, set it up. I flew in from Africa. I had took my braids out there. Like, he wants to meet you tomorrow. I was like, oh, no, my hair. And I had to <laughs> it. Should I put it in a wig? What should I do? And I decided I'll just wear it natural. I won't wear any makeup. And I'll let him see the real Tiffany Haddish and see how he feels about that. And I'm like, if he likes me, great. And if he doesn't, oh, well, I got to meet Billy Crystal. <laughs> and then I get to the office. I'm sitting down. I'm talking with him. And he's telling me about it. And I'm like, hey, hey. You had me at hello, Billy. Don't waste the energy. Let's get to when are we going to start this movie? Let's, what's the start date? Let's go. I understand you, you, you I have, long, I have long wanted to do a movie with Billy and Whoopi. What is that movie that you want to do with them? Well, I've decided that because Whoopi loves shoes, right? I love shoes. And so in this movie, Billy is a shoe cobbler. He works for this big corporation and he makes shoes. And I'm his intern. <laughs> I steal the shoes. Whoopi's my mom. She tells me how to steal the shoes. They're magical shoes. And I was thinking maybe you could even be in a movie. You could oh, yeah. be the owner of the company looking for the magical shoes. Then you get on Billy's back and Billy tells you to kiss his ass. And then I'm like, I feel bad about it. And then I try to bring the shoes back. But my mom won't let me bring the shoes back. And then Billy comes and then he marries my mom and he becomes my dad. You know, this, this thing is writing itself. It is just writing itself. <laughs> it's called The oh. Real Foot. Loose. I hope those of you at home get it down and, and, and then let us know how you feel. Like. It could also be City Slickers 3. You know, that could be. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's a very fine line. All I know is that Tiffany just cast me as the ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm honored. Billy. Okay, Billy, apart from the obvious, the talent and the charm and the beauty of Tiffany Haddish, what, 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 why'd you think of her for the part? Because Alan and I wrote this specific character, and, and, and I, I didn't know Tiffany. I didn't, had not seen Girls Trip. So when I saw her host SNL, I went, oh, my God, who is this person? 
she's funny, she's charming, she's a, she's adorable. She has this great smile, and people want to be entertained by her. They just you know they gravitate towards her. So uh, when I met her, that was even more important because well, I already knew that she was talented, but I didn't know what kind of person she was. And in talking to her about herself and her life, that's what really convinced me that this could really be special between the two of us. Because it was really, you know, what was in her soul and what was in her life that she talked about that I really, I really loved for this part. Well, a generation of comedians, you know, have looked at Billy and learned by watching what he does. Uh, for those of us who haven't worked with Billy, Tiffany, what do you learn by working with uh, Billy Crystal, not only as a, a scene partner, a writer, a co-writer of the film, but the director? Well, Billy really helped me grow so much as a performer. I mean, he got me to really be in the moment, to really listen. Like, I know, like, okay, yeah, you listen, and then you play and respond. But with Billy, I mean, he got me to tap into a place I've been trying to run away from at that point for 39 years, and that's crying in front of people. I try to swallow those tears, hold them inside, and Billy sat me, like, he was like, you're going to cry in this one. I was like, ah, come on, man. I can make a crying face. We can, we can give the emotion of crying, but don't actually have to cry. He's like, no, I need you to cry, Tiffany. I, that's what I want. And I'm like, uh, uh, but I trust Billy. So... Yeah, he, he worked with me, worked with me, got it out of me, and then it took me a, quite some time to pull it back together. And now I can cry anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Drop of a dime. What you need? A tear? You need the Viola Davis bubbles? What do you need? <laughs> <laughs> Those are, she's got a copyright on the bubbles, I think. On the UK. We have to take a quick break, but when we come back, I'll ask Billy about Tiffany's bat mitzvah. It's, it's true. 